Hey everyone, Tamara here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys have been keeping well and that you're continuing to thrive as you walk your spiritual path. Today, I want to talk to you guys about how to summon a demon or how to invoke a demon. A lot of people don't understand the mechanisms that go behind wanting to summon a demon. And even if they do, they are afraid. Demons are not to be feared. That's one thing I want to make clear. They are here to help you to evolve. All right. So with that being said, what you must realize when wanting to summon a demon or work with a demon is please do not approach them to ask them for things that are not going to aid you in your spiritual development. So for example, let's say you want to work with Asmodee. And yes, I'm speaking to you men. A lot of men will approach Asmodee or Asmodeus and of course they will want him to bring them a lot of partners, a lot of sexual favors. And yes, Asmodeus is the demon of lust, but he's not your servant. More than anything, he's there to teach you how to use your sexual energy and channel it into creative endeavors. Whether it's, let's say, painting or music or even just learning about kundalini energy. As Modius would favor you approaching him for those aspects versus just, hey, I want to fuck a lot of bitches. Right. So when wanting to work with a demon, make sure that your intentions are pure when approaching them. That is the first thing I'm going to mention to you guys before even letting you know how to summon a demon. Make sure your intentions are clear, pure, and precise. Don't ask for stupid shit. All right. So that's number one. Number two is... Respect goes a long way when wanting to work with the infernal divine. So I always tell people, set up an altar for them. Give them offerings. Most of the infernal love alcohol. Whether it's wine or whiskey, most of them love cigars or cigarettes. Most of them, if not all of them, love incense and candles. Some of them love chocolate. Right? So make sure that you come with gifts. Men, think about how you would impress a lady that you wanted to date. You'd wine and dine her. You'd take her out. You'd give her gifts. It's the same with the infernal divine. You know, don't come to them empty-handed. All right, so... Now that you've got that down, get their in, which you can find off of YouTube. And repeat their in as many times as you possibly can until you feel the presence of the being that you're trying to work with. Because I am psychically tuned, I can easily feel different energies when I want to invoke a spirit. So I can feel them their energy around me immediately. Sometimes, if you are really advanced, you may be able to hear them and see them. But like I said, that's if your psychic abilities are developed, which, yes, I can hear and I can see. So, once you do that, and you can feel that the being is present with you, this is what you're going to do. You're going to talk to them as if you're talking to another human being. You just say, okay, let's say you you invoked Clonic. Now you just say, hey, Clonic, thank you for your time. I would appreciate it if you could help me to understand business more. If you could please help me to understand finances and how I can gain more monetary value 
and monetize my skills and abilities. Please help me to understand that. Thank you. You see, that was nice. That was respectful. You weren't asking for stupid shit. That's what they love. That's what the infernal divine love. Is that you, you want to learn things and you want to grow. Alright, so Plonic is a being of wealth and abundance. So you're not approaching him and just being like, hey, give me a bunch of money. You're like, hey, Clonic, how can I monetize my skills in a better way? How can I market my skills or my business better? How can I gain the right opportunities or attract them to me so that I can grow and evolve? You see? All right, so that's everything really about how to invoke or summon a demon. So please be prepared to put in the work. And as I say, respect goes a long way. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you need any help, any help with regards to spell work, path working the tree of life slash death, help with working with the Goetia, tarot readings, or just a general Q&A consultation, I am available for such services. My email is in the description bar below. Also, alternatively, you can join my Patreon where I post in-depth dark arts videos that, of course, I don't make public on my YouTube channel. So, the link for that is also in the description box below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Take care and bye.